You know, this week saw the most important legal decision to date in the investigation into January 6th. The Supreme Court giving the green light for the committee to get a hold of more than 700 documents from the Trump White House. The only justice to publicly dissent to that was Justice Clarence Thomas. And today, a new and blistering report in The New Yorker. It highlights how his wife, Virginia Jenny Thomas, has become a growing issue for the court. And I quote from it. It says, her political activism has caused controversy for years. For the most part, it has been dismissed as the harmless action of an independent spouse. But now the court appears likely to secure victories for her allies in a number of highly polarizing cases on abortion, um, affirmative action, gun rights. Now, the author, Jane Mayer, joins me now. She is the chief Washington correspondent for The New Yorker. Jane, this piece is fascinating. And I was just saying she's been doing this for years, but now there may be some consequences for it. Good evening to you. You know, you lay out several conflicts of interest that Jenny Thomas uh, is really involved in. And I just want to get more specific on some of those before you respond. Uh, but first, you title this piece, Is Jenny Thomas a Threat to the Supreme Court? Most people have never even heard of her name. So what's your answer to, to that question? Of course, we don't write the titles ourselves, but I, I hope people will read the piece and they can make up their own minds. I think that, um, you know, she's posing some really really disturbing questions about the court's independence and about her husband's independence um, politically from, from the activities she's involved in because she is actually engaged and has close ties to many of the cases that are before her husband's court. So let's lay out what the, some of the reasons why you ask this question, right? Is she a threat? Thomas has given out awards for conservative uh, group and, and some other uh, recipients have had or could have have business in front of the court. And you write this at the 2019 event, Jenny Thomas praised one one of that year's recipients, Abby Johnson, a former Planned Parenthood employee who became an anti-abortion activist for her riveting indictment of Planned Parenthood's propagation of lies. That year, Thomas also gave a prize to Mark Meadows, then a hardline Republican in Congress, describing him as the leader in the House right now that we're waiting for. SCOTUS is facing a huge abortion case right now. Mark Meadows could end up before the court if he keeps fighting the subpoena. There are some of the biggest issues before the court right now. How alarmed is the legal community about her influence? I think quite. I mean, and that was one of the interesting things was talking to many of the most um, kind of respected experts on judicial ethics, people like Stephen Gillers at New York University, who's kind of the gold standard for this, who said, and he's always very cautious about what he said, but he said, what she's doing is reprehensible. And, and, and what he said was that it's hurting the administration of justice, because when you look at the rules for how judges behave, it's not just that they are supposed to have no conflicts, but it's also considered just as important that they have no appearance of conflicts, because the appearance of justice is important for the public's trust in the courts. Um, and, and this kind of behavior undermines it. And it's forbidden, really, for all the lower courts beneath the Supreme Court. There's a judicial code of ethics that, that binds the lower courts. But the justices in the Supreme Court um, hold themselves above the ethics code and um, say that it's, it's basically optional for them. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really troubling situation, I think, for all the people that I've, I've interviewed. And, um, you know, I, and it, it, it's going to get more so as the court takes on these issues that are so explosive in front of the country. And it's, it becomes so much the place where um, very, very important policy decisions are made that are going to affect every American.